，巴拉巴拉巴拉巴拉冰，巴拉冰，巴拉巴拉巴拉巴拉巴拉冰。Marcus Conti reporting. Black racists. The black racists are coming to get us. So、uh, talk about Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett, the man who claims he was hung and bleached, bleached white by mega wearing, mega hat wearing motherfuckers.、Right? So this is heating up. This is pretty,、uh, pretty radical news, right? I've been kind of away from it for. I didn't really talk about it. I don't know. It's just kind of bullshitty. Another bullshitty story, but、um, because I don't really follow TV, and he, to me, he's just another, you know, dumbass claiming, you know. Spoon racism, right? But、um, it's pretty interesting because now he's looking facing charges. So let's take a look. Front page in the New York Post: a liar, fucking liar. You lied, lied. Let's see what he did. What what is this guy? So again, I'm I'm going to give you the whole story, the whole background because I don't really, I I again I haven't been following the story, and.、Um, I I have like a I don't have all the conspiracy theories. I'm just going to give you the news, right? So Jesse Smollett is facing prison time, and the implosion of his career. If it turns out he lied about being the target of a hate crime, legal and public relations expert says the best thing that Jesse can do is pray and pray a lot. Ah, if he made it up, he has big problems in both the court of law and the court of public opinion. <laughs> no shit. So the Empire Star claimed he was beaten up on January 29th by two men who used racial and homophobic slurs. Smollett's co-stars and colleagues on Empire,、uh, celebrities such as Ellen Page, Zendaya, and public figures such as Senator Kamala Harris rallied behind the actor, releasing statements of support. However, Smollett's account is now being challenged. With police investigating whether or not he paid two acquaintances, Abalabalulo and Abajababalma, to attack the、uh, to stage the attack, so he had his two homeboys fucking stage the attack, right? Chicago police confirmed on Tuesday that they received a tip from someone claiming to have seen <coughs> seen the three men together in an elevator of small、uh, elevator of Smollett's apartment building on the evening of the attack. Right. However, later in the day, police spokesman Anthony Gul Gum <laughs> Gulimalala tweeted that the tip was unfounded. Ah、oh, man, so this guy's in some shit, man. He made the whole thing up. If Smollett falsified a report,、uh, the charge the charge is a class four felony in Illinois, and carries a potential sentence of one to three years in prison. Smollett could also be ordered. Uh, pay restitution. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna ring him out. It's a very very serious situation," said federal prosecutor. He's got some very significant exposure. Smollett told police that two men attacked him at 2 a.m., pouring bleach on him and put a noose around his neck. He also claimed they told him that it was "Make America Great Again" country, a reference to Donald Trump's campaign slogan. Uh, Chicago investigators are now seeking to speak with Smollett, so he's not indicted, he's not arrested.、Uh, there's no warrant. They're doing the outreach, right? They're saying, "Come in, and we won't issue a warrant. Tell us what you know." Right? So it's not, it's not a, a.、Uh, he's not, he's not hogtied yet. <laughs> Soon, <laughs> federal investigators are also probing a threatening letter that was sent to the Empire set. The letter included homophobic language and contained the white powder, which turned out later to be a crushed painkiller.、Um, should the letter turn out to be fake, federal prosecutors could also pursue mail fraud charges. Wow, so the guy's fucked. Andrew Weinsberg, a former prosecutor in the Cook County State Attorney's Office, said Smollett could get probation, assuming that he has a clean record.、Um, Uh, NBC News, however, reported Tuesday that Variety and Variety confirmed the Smollett plead、uh, that Smollett plead no contest in 2017 to three misdemeanor counts stemming from DUI、uh, incident in LA, including one count of giving false statement to police. 
So he's got a he's a predicate um, he's a predicate uh, af- abuser uh, about lying to police. So it's a very high profile case. He said prosecutors tend to be tough because everyone's watching. Yeah. Uh, Steve Greenberg, a Chicago defense attorney, said prosecutors could also file a charge for obstruction. Um, He said that it's likely, though, that Smollett would be allowed to plead to a misdemeanor and not serve jail time. That's very possible. Class 4 felony. um, It'll get dropped to a misdemeanor. He'll, He'll get three years probation. Maybe, 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 you know, 30 days in the hole. You know, maybe. Um, they're not going to ruin a guy's life, Greenberg. They're not going to ruin a, a guy's life over this. Pfft. Where's the racist charges? Where's the charges? Because if this was the opposite, if there was a a black, uh, I mean a white, you know, with a with a Nazi sign or a or a noose, you know, swinging a noose, they there would be all kinds of other charges. But when a black does it and makes up the story, there's no no problem, no problem, no. People make up false reports. The, the, the lawyer makes a good point, though. People make up false reports all the time to the police. They get DWI. They call the police and say, my car was stolen. 90% of the time, even if they're charged with a felony, those people end up uh, pleading to a misdemeanor. I'll agree with that. I'll go along with that. I'll say that uh, this guy comes in. He... Um, you know, they, they, he, he says not guilty or whatever. I didn't do it. And then shortly after, he pleads guilty to a misdemeanor. Uh, and, and that's the end of it. Right? But anyway, Smollett has retained two criminal defense attorneys. Um, his lawyer may be having a psychiatric exam, uh, the guy, to psychiatrically examine the guy so they could prepare some kind of psychiatric defense. Bull fucking shit. He's not crazy. He's an actor. He's an actor. He knows exactly what he's doing. All right. Smollett, like celebrity fabulouses such as Lance Armstrong and Ryan Lache, Lache, oh, the the swimmer, uh, may see endorsement opportunities and roles dry up. (laughs) Hell yeah. So this guy's in some some, uh, deep shit. Let's watch this, ABC, uh, who's this, ABC The breaking headline out of Chicago. Police there are now calling actor Jesse Smollett a suspect in a criminal investigation. They say he is under investigation for, quote, filing a false police report in that alleged hate crime. Smollett had claimed two men attacked him and had called him racist and homophobic names. Tonight, this new video just emerging showing those two brothers buying supplies. Those two men say it was Smollett who orchestrated the attack. ABC's gotcha. Eva Pilgrim leading us off. Tonight, Chicago police have officially charged Jesse Smollett with felony disorderly conduct for so filing a him. false police report. Smollett's legal team responding that they intend to conduct a thorough investigation and to mount an aggressive defense. The stunning twist comes as the brothers at the center of that investigation are seen on surveillance by... Okay, so you don't have to write in the comments, Conti, do your research, right? I just did my research, okay? He, he is charged with a felony. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Guys. A red hat and ski masks, items allegedly used in a phony attack the men claim they were paid to stage. After days of pressing Smollett for a follow-up interview, Chicago police today issuing a stark public warning. We got information, and that's what we want to run by him. If the opportunity is not taken to come in, we're going to go with other methods to create a culture of accountability. Empire is not going to spend hundreds. So that part I got right. He, he's he's um. They're calling him in, right? The charges have been filed, and they're calling him in. That there's no warrant. That's it's unusual. The thousands of dollars on an artist that would try to take us down. The Empire actor has insisted he was the victim of an attack. How do you not believe that? It's the truth. The FBI is already investigating whether Smollett sent this threatening letter to himself a week before the attack. The return address said in big red, you know, like caps, MAGA, 
Did I make that up too? His brother now yep. defending him on Instagram, blasting the media with a quote from Malcolm X. It will make the criminal look like he's the victim and make the victim look like he's the criminal. Smollett has allegedly lied to police in the past. Newly revealed court documents from 2007 show he was accused of impersonating his brother by wow. using his name during a traffic wow. stop where he was suspected of driving under the influence. He reportedly pleaded no contest to reduce charges and completed an alcohol treatment program. David Smollett is expected in bond court tomorrow afternoon. As for when he will turn himself in, we know his attorneys have been talking with prosecutors and police. They are together negotiating what they're calling a reasonable time for him to surrender. David? Eva. See, now the other thing, the other thing, if this was, if this was uh, the shoe were on the other foot, if it were a white guy, remember what they did to Roger Stone? They handcuffed him. CNN was across the street, right? Uh, but but they don't want to embarrass the guy. They don't want to embarrass this man and and handcuff him in front of his you know, on the TV screen, right right in front of the cameras. Handcuff him and drag him in on a warrant. But but um, you know that's kind of suspicious, man. Why not? Why not? He did it, right? He did it. So Jesse Smollett facing what appears to be felony charges, felony. Class four felony charges probably get dropped to an A misdemeanor, and he'll probably, um, you know, he'll probably get time served or a little probation, community service, probably probation because he's already had probation. He'll probably uh, house arrest him. His his endorsement's a gun. The guy's a total phony. <laughs> That's fucked up, right? It's a good catch, man. It's a good catch, you know. So um, racism, black racism against whites on the rise. All the Democrats, Camilla Harris, where's the apology? Camilla Harris. I want to hear the apology. Oh, we made a mistake. We didn't do our research. We took the side of the black man without any evidence whatsoever. Yeah. There you go, man. Marcus Conte reporting. Don't forget to subscribe.